children's moment with me. Well, good morning. Come on down. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Today, I'd like your help in telling a story. I think you all should know this story, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Um, have you all heard the story of Cinderella before? No. Have you heard it? No, haven't heard it? Well, you're in for a treat. Okay, so first things first, who is Cinderella? What kind of girl is she? Can we? What kind of girl is she? Is she, is she super, super wealthy? Is she really, really rich? Cinderella? Yeah. Or is she poor? She is. She's a poor girl. Does she, um, does she relax all day, or is she a really hard worker? She's a really hard worker. Can somebody be Cinderella? Okay, come closer. Okay, I'm going to give the word to the girl. Can you hold, can you hold that right there? Oh, she makes such a lovely little working girl. Good job, little Cinderella. Very good. Okay. So um, is she a very happy young lady or is she pretty sad? Is she happy? She, she's kind of, she's sad. She said she's awfully alone in the work that she's doing and it's a lot of hard work. Okay. So she lives in this kingdom, doesn't she? Um, and in this kingdom, there is a prince, right? You can be the prince right here. <laughs> very good. Yes, it's very good. We have a prince and we have Cinderella. Now, the prince does what in this story? Does he throw a special kind of party? What was that called? What was that called? Say it. A ball. Yes, you threw a ball for, the, for the, all the ladies in your kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> We've got an actor up here. Very good. Okay, cool. But does Cinderella get to go to the ball? Okay, is she, she does? Let's see. Is she happy about that? Does she have permission to go to the ball? No. Is she happy about this, Bella? No. No, she wants to go to this ball. Okay. Well, somebody comes along. Somebody comes along. Who comes along to help her? Fairy godmother. Yeah, the fairy godmother comes along and um, gets her a nice dress to wear. She has transportation to the ball, right? Okay. And then she meets Prince Charming, doesn't she? Oh, first of all, we have to do our transformation. There we go. Meets Prince Charming is this beautiful princess looking lady now and do the prince and cinderella have a good time yes yes it was a wonderful dance that they shared okay all right looking good okay so then <clears throat> um cinderella has to leave of course right not a good not a good part of the story she goes back to being a working girl <laughs> making the switch back to the working girl very good very good now the prince does the prince um, does the prince say, oh, well, or what does the prince do? What does he do in this story? Does he go after her? Yes. Yeah, he goes after her with the glass slipper, remember? And then he tries all the ladies in the kingdom, all the ladies, and finally comes back to Cinderella. And then do they get to live happily ever after? Yes. It's a really wonderful end of the story. But here's the part of the story that, you know, that gets me out of all of the women in the land, it's Cinderella that the, that the prince really enjoys, right? There's so many women, but Cinderella, the, the one, the working girl, she's sad and she's not all that happy, right? But it's Cinderella is the one that ends up um, being with the prince, and it's such a cool story, and that's something um, that we're talking about today. Like in, in the Bible, God, like God uses these people that you wouldn't expect to have to be the heroes of the story, to be the heroes of the story. Think of, of David and Goliath, like we mentioned last week, you know? It's very unlikely that this little, little scrawny kid is gonna, be, is gonna beat this giant, but he does it, it's unlikely. But um, that's, what, that's what we're gonna remember today, is that you know, when we're facing challenges that we aren't sure we can handle or we're not sure we can tolerate, God puts the power in us to do that. And he says, you know, you, you can do this. You can do this even though you don't think you can. So let's remember that as we go on this week, okay? Um, and that God gives us the power to do these amazing things. And even though we, don't, we aren't sure we can, we absolutely can because of God and his help. Will you pray with me? Yeah. 
I'll take that. Thank you. All right, let's bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Help us remember that you choose unlikely people to be the heroes in your stories. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys.